Happy New Year! Woohoo! Hello everyone! Happy New Year to you! Good morning, good afternoon, good day. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I hope that you can laugh at my shirt. It is 2021 and I'm excited. I think that this year will bring abundance and health and prosperity and blessings and love and I'm so grateful that you're here with me. Um, I hope that you're feeling okay and maybe your evening wasn't too crazy. It probably wasn't. Um, but if it was, uh, anyways, I would like to offer you um, the option anyways of serving yourself in the best way. And if you're feeling like you have a headache or you're maybe didn't get enough sleep, maybe drank a little too much or whatever, are continuing to eat too much um, perhaps, Peppermint oil, essential oil is a wonderful idea. Uh, you can apply some to your temples or wherever you have a headache, but also your stomach or in your water even, as long as it's a therapeutic grade essential oil to help for your digestion. Um, lemon essential oil in your water to help to cleanse your liver. Uh, if you have been indulging a little too much during the holidays and or lavender essential oil is really also very helpful for headaches, but also to help sort of calm and support your nervous system and settling. Um, I have used some lavender essential oil myself on my wrists before my practice today because I really am making the conscious decision to move into this year with um, a different sense of acceptance and openness for whatever it is to come. So I'm very excited. Thank you for being here. We're going to move through a fairly quick um, flow to get the body moving, get the blood pumping, and hopefully kick off your new year in a really good way. So thank you for being here. Please have some water nearby. Um, let's begin our practice in a comfortable, upright, seated position. Yay, I'm so glad to be here. So you might like to bring a pillow underneath your sits bones, which is what I have done. Just helps to bring the hips a little bit higher than the knees maybe. Um, that can feel really comfortable, um, but also um, sometimes that doesn't feel so great. So let's just remember um, or remind ourselves or learn for the first time that yoga is not about doing it correctly, but it's really about determining and discovering what feels best in your individual body. Beginning to sink in here to your breath, sitting up nice and tall, drawing the belly button in towards the spine, soften through the shoulders, and lift through the crown of the head. Sinking into your breath. Sinking into the earth. while remaining tall and lifted through the spine. Nice. Let's take three full breaths in through the nose and exhaling loudly with a sigh. Release 2020, let it go. Um, really use that out breath as the opportunity to just like, let it go, let go anything that isn't serving you, just release that and take in all of the wonderful goodness that is to come. Let's begin here, inhale nice and big through the nose, exhale, sigh it out. Two more, inhale, fill up to the very crown of your head, fill up, 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 inhale nice and deep, exhale, let it go. Last one, take as much in as you can. Fill your belly, fill your lungs all the way to the top of your head. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful, exhaling, sinking into the earth. Lift up nice and tall through your spine. Okay, let's release whatever it is that you have under your bum, if you have anything under your bum, and we'll transition into a tabletop position right away. Hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Tops of the feet can be firmly pressed into the earth, or maybe you're tucking your toes for some extra balance. 
All right, let's bring our hands nice and wide. Fingertips are spread nice and wide, clawing at the mat with your fingertips, in particular your index and thumb. Draw the belly in towards the spine. Beautiful, broaden through the collarbones as you press away from the mat. Neck is nice and long towards the front of the mat. Beautiful, let's take three cat cow. So inhale to drop the belly, gaze lifts, crown lifts. Exhale, press away from the mat, round through your back. Two more, inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Coming back through center. Active into the left foot here. So either your toes are tucked or the top of the left foot is anchored firmly into the mat. Pressing the toenails into the mat, draw your belly button in. Find your left hand firmly planted underneath your left shoulder. Claw at the mat with your fingertips. Let's reach the right fingertips forward. Nice. From here, reaching your right hand forward as though you're shaking the hand of your friend, your beautiful friend you haven't seen in a long time, is in front of you and you're reaching out to touch them. Anchoring the right foot toes into the mat, let's inhale to reach the left foot back. Beautiful, so notice how this feels for you. If it doesn't feel good, lower your left knee back to the mat. Draw the belly button in and begin to extend. Grow nice and long between the fingertips and the feet. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, draw the elbow towards the knee. Inhale, stretch it out. Two more times, exhale, draw it in. Inhale, grow long. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale one more time. Exhale, release your right hand and left knee back to the mat. Beautiful, straighten out here. So bring your right shoulder underneath, sorry, your right wrist underneath your right shoulder, draw your belly button in, anchor the right foot and left foot to the top of the mat. Draw nice, become nice and strong into the belly, activate through the core. Maybe this is the first time you've done this, I don't know, in two weeks. Probably that's the case for me. Let's inhale to reach the left fingertips forward. Draw the belly button in. Keep the neck nice and long. And as you're ready, kick the right foot back if that feels good in your body. So become nice and kind of strong into that left foot. Anchor the left foot into the mat, whether the toes are tucked or not. Nice and strong. Actively reaching in opposite directions with the finger and the toe. Take an inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, draw it in. Last one, inhale, stretch it out. Exhale to draw it in. Inhale, grow nice and long. Exhale, return your wrist or your hand and your right knee to the mat for three cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze lifts. Exhale, round, find your own pace here. Move in a way that feels good in your body. Keep breathing. Nice, return through center. Return to your tabletop. Let's walk the hands about six inches forward. Stay nice and active in the fingertips. Tuck the toes. Peel the sits bones towards the sky. Your first downward facing dog of the year. Woohoo! Yay for 2021 downward facing dog. Nice. All right, pedal your downward facing dog out. So bend one knee and then the other. Anchor the opposite heel towards the earth. Nice, stay active in your fingertips. Eat your necklace if it's coming into your mouth like mine is. Nice, let's come into stillness in, the, in our downward facing dog. Beautiful. Anchor your heels towards the earth. But if that doesn't feel good, bring a nice deep bend into the knees, straighten into the back. Nice. And then maybe you're anchoring your heels towards the earth, just determining here when you lose that integrity in your back. So we want a nice flat back. Inside of the elbows are spun towards one another. Head is hanging between the arms, drawing up and in with the ribs. Let's take three full breaths here, exhaling with a lion's breath. So on a lion's breath, we're sticking the tongue out, Shifting the gaze towards the third eye and exhaling nice and loud. Really exaggerate this. Take advantage of the earth being close to you so you can exhale and release 
all that didn't serve you in 2020 into the all forgiving mother earth beneath you inhale through the nose exhale lion's breath two more Nice, I keep beating my necklace here. Let's bend into the knees and walk the feet to meet the hands at the front of the mat. Feet are hip width distance. Inhale for a halfway lift. Hands come to your shins or your thighs. Pull your shoulders back. Draw your belly button in. Gazes to the earth. Crown of the head reaches forward. Nice, take another inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hinging at the hips, bending at the knees. Grab onto opposite elbows or maybe your fingers prefer to reach the earth. So here we're bending forward, dangling forward. Bend into your knees as much as you need to, maybe creating a little shelf for your tummy to rest on your thighs. Nice. A friend of mine once told me that she loves to envision her back as a waterfall when she's in her forward fold, Uttanasana. And as she envisions her back being like a waterfall, all that doesn't serve her flows off of her back and into Mother Earth. Mother Earth is capable of receiving this and transmuting it into loving energy that comes back to us. So take advantage, perhaps, if this visualization resonates with you in your forward fold. Your back is a waterfall. Breathing. you've been moving let's come on back to center dropping the hands to the earth if they're not there already inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold generous bend in the knees we're going to inhale rooting to rise reaching the fingertips up and overhead gather up the love and the light of the universe draw your fingers to touch exhale draw the love and the light in towards your own heart hands are touching at heart center and anjali mudra soften the shoulders lift through the crown of the head draw your belly button in beautiful lift through the arches of the feet soften into the shoulders pressing the palms of the hands together and softening your hands to the side palms face forward standing tall in your mountain Standing tall in 2021, ready, rooted, stable, strong, capable of taking on anything that comes your way. Rooted and grounded, stable and strong. We're prepared to move through three rounds of sun salutation A. I'll talk you through it. Move with your breath. Move in a way that feels good in your body. If you know what you're doing, just go for it. Preparing to move here, gentle bend through the knees. Fingertips go down to come up, inhale. Open your arms wide, exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, steps back for plank. Inhale, shift forward on the toes or lower the knees. Exhale, lowering all the way to the mat or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Inhale, your back bend. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath here. Shift the gaze forward, bend into the knees and walk or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend through the knees. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, draw the hands through heart center. <sighs> Inhale, fingertips go, go down to come up. Open your arms wide, exhale, forward fold, round two. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back for plank. Inhale, shift forward or lower the knees. Exhale, lowering through chaturanga or all the way to the mat for belly to cobra. And exhaling, downward facing dog, full breath here. Inhale to shift the gaze forward, bend the knees, and make your way to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend through your knees. Inhale, come on up to stand. Exhale, your hands through heart center. 
Last one. Inhale, fingertips down to come up. Open your arms wide. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, step back for plank. Shift forward on an inhale or lower your knees. And your choice, lowering all the way to the mat, belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Exhaling your way back into downward facing dog. Full breath here. Inhale, shift the gaze forward. Bend into the knees. And make your way to the front of the mat. Let's inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, come on up to stand. Scoop up all that love and light. Grab it in your hands and bring it down to your heart. Bring your hands beside you in mountain. Plug into the earth. Feel your roots growing from your feet, stabilizing you, grounding you, standing strong in this year, 2021. Together, connected, beautiful. All of that love and that light we just scooped up into our hands and pulled into our own hearts. Now is sinking down through us, through the feet, into the roots that you're growing into the earth right now and coming up through the earth into the ground of everyone else's feet, everyone else's bodies, all of the plants, the animals, the ecosystem of the world, our mother earth. Preparing to move here, gentle bend through the knees, fingertips are reaching down to come up. Let's keep the palms touching, exhaling forward, fold, carve a line with your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back for plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes, anchor the feet into the earth, zip the legs up together. Line your fingertips up with your armpits. Take an inhale. Exhale to lift for cobra. So peel your chest forward and back, actively pressing into the mat with your feet, your hands, pulling your shoulders, your triceps and biceps back. Beautiful. Make sure you're breathing. Take an inhale. Exhale to lower. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, push up for downward facing dog. Let's anchor the left heel into the mat. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Bend into the right knee and stack the right hip on top of the left. So your right toes are dripping over your left hip here. Nice opening into the hips. Hello hips, hello 2021. Let's return back to a three-legged dog. Right toes dial down towards the earth. Inhale on your three-legged dog. Get your necklace out of your mouth. Exhale, right knee comes to right elbow. Draw your belly button in. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left, uh, right knee to left elbow. <laughs> Inhale, three-legged dog. Yes, nice. Exhale, step your right foot through to frame your hands. Plant your right foot firmly into the earth. Right knee over top of right ankle. Tent through your fingertips or use your blocks here. Maybe you're lowering your left knee. And if you are, see if your left knee needs some support here. All right, begin to hover your fingertips up off the earth. Pull your shoulders down. Nice, beaming through that left heel, strong in the left leg. Let's shift our fingers towards the sky, soften into the shoulders, high lunge. We're gonna shift that left foot forward for warrior one. So shifting the left foot forward at a 45 degree angle, continue to bend it into the right knee. Anchor into the knife edge of the left foot. Draw the belly button in. Breathing here. Strong. Opening up into warrior two. Softening your arms along the horizon. Spin your left foot to line up at the knife edge of the back of the mat. Right toes towards the front of the mat. Bend into that right knee. Right inner thigh shifts open towards the right edge of the mat. Establish your heel to arch alignment. Your right heel slices a line through the left arch of the foot. Open your arms along the horizon if you lost that. <laughs> Soften into the shoulders. Gaze out over the right fingertips. 
Draw the belly button in, stay nice and strong here. Warrior two. Let's reverse our warrior, flip the right palm to the sky. Right fingertips reach up and over, left arm reaches down, left leg, peaceful warrior. Or reverse, bending into the right knee. Take an inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle, right forearm to right thigh, left fingertips reach up and overhead. An inhale brings you back to warrior two. Exhale, settle in. Inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel the legs over that right foot. Step the right foot back to meet the left, downward facing dog. Three full breaths here. Lion's breath if you choose. Also taking the option to lower into child's pose if you ever feel the call. Soften the right heel. Inhale to reach the left leg up. Dial the left toes down to the earth. Let's bend into that left knee. Stack the left hip over the right. Nice. So stay nice and active in your fingertips here. So we're really trying to have an even amount of weight into the right and left hand. Squaring the shoulders to the front of the mat. Let's inhale. Return that left leg to a three-legged dog. Hips are square. And on an exhale, drawing the left knee to the left elbow. <laughs> That's what it is. Draw the belly button in, stay nice and strong, nice. Back up into three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, we're stepping the left foot through to meet the hands at the front of the mat. Bringing in your blocks, maybe you're lowering your right knee, tenting into the fingertips. Let's make sure that left knee is over the left um, ankle. As you're ready, begin to pick your fingertips up off the earth, beam back through that right heel, soften your shoulders. Inhale to shift the fingertips up and overhead. Let's keep breathing collectively. All right, let's bring our attention into the left foot. Strong into that left leg as you shift the right foot forward for warrior one. So shift the right foot forward at a 45 degree angle. Return to the bent left knee if you lost that. Direct your attention into the knife edge of your right foot, staying strong. Preparing here to open up into warrior two. Arms come along the horizon. Spin that right foot, heel to arch alignment here. Your right foot is lined up, or the knife edge of the right foot is lined up with the back edge of the mat. Let's bend into the left knee. Left knee spins open, arms along the horizon. Soften your shoulders and gaze out over your left hand. Whew, let's breathe. Hello, 2021. All right, inhale, peaceful warrior. Nice. Right arm comes down your right leg. Left arm reaches up and over. Keep a bend in your left knee. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Left hand comes to left thigh. Right arm reaches up and over. If this doesn't feel good, right hand can come to your right wrist. Yes. Beautiful. Soften your right shoulder. Return to warrior two. <laughs> and exhale to stay. Nice, we're gonna shift forward. So cartwheel forward, frame that left foot. Step your, step your left foot back. This time we're coming into plank. Yes, all right. <laughs> Hello to 2021 again. Let's draw the belly button in. Tucking through the toes, beaming back through the heels, and maybe you're lowering your knees, which is totally cool. It's better to have good alignment than to force your body into something that it's maybe not quite ready for. So that's lowering your knees, picking your feet up off the earth, or keeping your toes tucked. And wherever you are in your plank, whether your knees are lifted or whether they're lowered, let's spread those fingertips wide, stay active in the fingertips. Beautiful. Draw the belly button in. 
Staying nice and strong through the legs. And imagine a straight line from the crown of your head to the base of your pelvis, and again from your pelvis to your feet. Neck is nice and long. Let's take an inhale here. Exhale, tucking the elbows into the side and lowering all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes, anchor the feet into the earth. Fingertips line up with the armpits, inhaling for cobra. Exhale, release. We'll do that two more times. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Press yourself up into tabletop, bring your knees nice and wide, tucking your toe, or toes are coming to touch. Walk your bottom back to your heels, and then we're gonna shift forward for child's pose. So if a wide-legged or a wide knee child's pose doesn't feel good to you, you can bring your knees together. Maybe your shoulders are asking for a rest. And if so, bringing your arms alongside you, flipping your palms to the sky. Let's try to make sure the third eye point has somewhere to rest. So if your forehead doesn't quite make it to the earth, stack your fists or use a block or a pillow. If your hips don't feel good, bring something on top of your heels. Support yourself here. Slow down your breath. Soften your shoulders. If your hands are alongside you, walking your arms out in front, lifting the forehead slightly and walking the hands over to the left side of the mat, anchoring into the right hand, drawing the right hip towards the right heel, lowering the forehead and bringing a nice stretch into the right side of the body. Lifting the forehead, walking the hands over to the right, this time anchoring the left hand and the left hip towards the left heel, lower the forehead, bringing this beautiful expansion into the side of our bodies, making way for expansive breath in this year ahead. Lifting the forehead, coming back through center. Pressing into the palms, pushing yourself up through seated. We'll swing our feet over to one side or the other, coming back onto our bottoms. And then lowering ourselves all the way to the earth. So if you're ready to just collapse, please go for it. <laughs> Maybe you need a little bit more water or peppermint, lavender. <laughs> all right, so otherwise, may we shift back. Lift your chest towards the sky. Maybe open your palms towards the sky. Hello, New Year. I welcome you. Thank you for arriving. Maybe lift one foot and then the other. Welcome this year with a boat pose. Nice. And as you're ready, lowering all the way to your back so you can lower through boat. Or maybe bring your feet towards the earth and begin to walk your back all the way down, roll it out. Nice, and when you've reached the earth, bringing your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a hug, you deserve it, you're amazing, thank you for being here. <laughs> I feel like I was just you thanking yourself, so please don't just let me thank you, but you thank you as well, because you made it and you're here and you're wonderful. Let's roll back through center. So let's squeeze the right knee in towards the right armpit, but release that left leg. So maybe you're keeping a bend through the left knee, firmly planting the left foot into the earth, or maybe extending that left leg nice and long, staying active through the left leg. Nice, so drawing those left toes towards you and hugging the right knee in towards the right armpit. This is really good for your digestive system. So just applying a little bit of compression into your digestive organs, detoxifying, cleansing, wringing out. 
the year that has come and gone, adios 2020, <laughs> you will be remembered. Okay, we're gonna come into a twist. Let's bring ourselves out a little more. Extend that right arm out to the side. And as you're ready, draw on your right knee across the body. So you're coming over to the left, twisting here. Beautiful, extend that right arm out beside you or in cactus if you don't have the space. Let's anchor the right shoulder towards the earth, and then you decide here. If it feels good on your neck, you might look out over your right hand, or maybe it feels better to stay looking up at the ceiling or towards the left. You decide. Breathe here in your twist. Move that energy throughout your body. Let's shift the gaze back through center and then roll on back through center. Let's have both knees in towards our chest. <sighs> Yay, keep breathing. We're almost there. Roll back through center. Let's let go of that right leg, hugging the left knee in towards the left armpit. Again, maybe your right knee is asking to be bent or maybe that right leg is nice and long. Notice if you're able to soften your shoulders, even though your arms are active here. Let's extend the left arm long out beside us and then bring the right knee across the body, coming into a twist. So maybe your left arm is in a cactus or maybe extended long and then deciding here if it feels good to Maybe extend your gaze out over your left arm. Making your way back through center, take your time. Once again, let's bring both knees in towards the chest. Take an inhale, give yourself a big squeeze. So maybe wrapping both arms around your legs you might lift your shoulders, draw your forehead towards your knees. Grab another inhale. Exhale, let's soften. Soften the shoulders, soften the head. And as you're ready, just beginning to extend one leg and then the other. You made it. Your first yoga practice of 2021 is complete. You have made it to Shavasana. You have permission to do nothing else today. Let's extend the arms nice and long, legs nice and long. Find whatever Shavasana feels right to you. Just promise me you won't skip it. So if that means you're grabbing a blanket, socks, a sweater, yeah, whatever you need here to end this beautiful practice, this beautiful start to your year, Filled with gratitude and love. Please do feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. It's the beauty of an at-home yoga practice. <laughs> I hope that someone is in their pajamas because that's the best. Otherwise, if you feel ready to transition into the rest of your day, begin to wiggle through your fingers and toes. You might rock your head from side to side. And then as you're ready, taking your time, moving mindfully, making your way onto whatever side is your favorite. So yeah, just take your time here. Maybe extend that arm that's underneath you to support your head. Bending in through your knees, take a nice, take a few nice breaths here in this fetal position. 
nurturing your body, taking your time, moving nice and slow, moving in a way that expresses love for yourself, pushing yourself up as you're ready into a seated position. Grabbing onto your nearby mask and New Year's hat. <laughs> don't tell me you don't have them nearby. <laughs> and if you don't have your props nearby, bringing your hands to heart center. Let's send our practice in Anjali Mudra, pressing the palms together, pressing the fingertips together, soften the shoulders, lift the sternum towards the thumbs. This humble gesture, acknowledging ourselves first and foremost, and acknowledging each and every one else that is here practicing with us. Thank you for being here. Happy New Year. Namaste.